Hey students, tonight we're going to talk about function notation. Remember, while you're watching the video, make sure to take notes and turn them into your teacher tomorrow. Okay, let's get started. So, function notation is f of x. This right here is my function notation. The way we say that is f of x. And it is the same thing as y. So, for example, if I have f of x equals 2x plus 1, it's the same thing as saying y equals 2x plus 1. Okay, so remember, these are the same thing. f of x and y are the exact same. So, if we let's look at some examples now. We have evaluate the following equation below. d of x equals 100 divided by x. Again, d of x is the same thing as f of x. Instead of f, we just use a different letter. We just use d. Now, we're going to find d of 20. Whatever is inside of the parentheses represents your x. So, we're going to take this 20 and we're going to plug it into the x. So, we would have d of x equals 100 divided by 20. Okay? Again, whatever is inside this parentheses is your x value. So, it's going to go in place of x. Now, just solve. What's 100 divided by x? You're right, it's 5. So d of x equals 5. So that would be my answer. Okay, so let's look at another problem. We have evaluate the following equation below. r of x equals 3x squared minus 4. Find r of negative 2. So again, <clears throat> whatever is in parentheses, this number in parentheses, is your x value. So we're going to substitute it in for x. Now, because we have this square up at the top of x, when we substitute in, we have to make sure to put parentheses. Okay? So you'll have r of x equals 3 parentheses negative 2 close parentheses squared minus 4. And now we're just going to solve. Negative 2 squared gives me 4 then 3 times 4 is 12, and then 12 minus 4 gives me 8. So r of x equals 8. This would be my final answer. So again, whatever in parentheses is your x, you're going to substitute it into x and then just solve. Now let's look at something a little bit different. It says find x if f of x equals 12. So now, f of x is going to equal 12, so we're going to take this and plug it into where f of x is, right here. So, when we do that, we'll have 12 equals 2x minus 6. And now we're solving to get x by itself. So the first step is going to be to remove this negative 6 from both sides. So we're going to add 6 to both sides. That's going to cancel these out. And we're left with 12 plus 6, which gives us 18, equals 2x. And now, x is still not by itself, so we're going to have to divide both sides by 2. When we do that, that's going to cancel out. And we're left with x equals 9, or 9 equals x. Same thing. Because 18 divided by 2 is 9 and then equals my x. Okay, so this one's a little bit different because it told us what f of x was and it wanted us to find x. Okay, let's look at another problem. It says translate the following into coordinate points and graph. So remember, whatever in parentheses is your x value, whatever it equals is going to be your y value. Okay, because remember, f of x and y are the same thing. So in this case, my x is negative 4, and my y is 3. Okay, so here, what would I have? Well, again, what's inside parentheses is my x, and whatever it equals is my y. So in this case, I would have 3, comma, negative 2. Okay, and the last one, again, what is ever in parentheses is my x, and whatever it equals is my y. 
So in this case, I would have 5, comma, 0. And now it says to graph them. So negative 4, 3. I'm going to start at 0 and go over negative 4. And then I'm going to go up 3. 1, 2, 3. So my dot would go right here. And now I'm going to do the next point. Again, I'm going to start at 0. And I'm going to go to the right 3. 1, 2, 3. And then I'm going to go down 2 because it's negative. 1, 2. And my dot's right here. And now the last one is 5, 0. So I'm going to go right 5 because it's positive. And now I'm not going to move up or down because it's 0. So my dot would just go right here. So that would be my graph. So again, whatever inside your parentheses is your x. Whatever's on the outside is your y, whatever it equals. Okay, let's look at some more examples. It says, given f of x is equals 3x minus 4, fill in the table and graph. So again, we're, we know that x is negative 3 here, so we're going to take negative 3 and plug it into x. So we would have 3 parentheses negative 3. Anytime you substitute, you have to put parentheses around it, minus 4. Well, 3 um, times negative 3 is negative 9 minus 4, and that's going to give me negative 13. So I have negative 13 here. Now, let's do the next one. This one says x is negative 1. So I'm going to plug in negative 1 into 3. So I'm going to have 3 times negative 1 minus 4. Well, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 minus 4. This is negative 13, sorry. 3, negative 3 minus 4 gives me a negative 7. Okay. And then the last one says x equals 0. So I'm going to take and I'm going to plug 0 into x. So I have 3 times 0, which is 0, minus 4, and that's going to give me negative 4. Uh-oh. I think it's a little long. Okay, now this one's a little bit different because it says y is 17. Remember, f of x is the same as y. So this is actually y equals 3x minus 4. So we're going to turn in 17 and plug 17 into y. So I'm going to have 17 equals 3x minus 4. And now I'm going to have to solve this one. So I add 4 to both sides. This cancels, and I'm left with, I'm going to have to go off to the side over here. Sorry about that. 17 plus 4 is 21 equals 3x. And then I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. And so x equals 7. So that would go here. And then I would graph this on my graph. I'm not going to take the time to do that because you should know how to graph. So we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, it says given the graph of the function f of x. So we're given this graph and it wants us to find f of negative 2. So remember, whatever's in the parentheses is your x. So you're going to go to when x is negative 2, so negative 2, 1, 2. This is negative 2, but what is the y value? The y is 4. So my answer would be 4. So you're looking, when x is negative 2, what is your y value? Well, y is 4. Okay? What if it said, find x when f of x is negative 2? Well, remember, f of x is y. So when y equals negative 2, so let me change the color real quick. So when y equals negative 2, which is right here, what is my x value? Well, my x value is going to be 2. Uh-oh. So x equals 2. Okay? So remember, if it's in parentheses, it's your x. If it's equal to it, it's your y. Okay? 
Let's look at the next one. And I think this is our last one. It says if 3 comma y is a solution to the equation 3x minus 5y equals 49, what is the value of x? Well, oops, sorry. So this is x comma y. So you're going to take this because it tells me that 3 is my x. So I'm going to take this 3 and I'm going to plug it into where x is. So when I do that, I'm going to have 3, this 3 right here. And then now x became 3 because that's what it told me up here. And then everything else stays the same, minus 5y equals 49. And now I'm just going to solve. What's 3 times 3? Yes, good job, it's 9. So 9 minus 5y equals 49. And now I'm going to try to get everything away from the y. So you remember, you cover up your y and move what's ever on the outside of it. So it's the 9. Well, this 9 is positive because there's nothing in front of it. Do not look behind it, in front of it. Is there anything out here in front of it? No, so it is a positive. So we're going to subtract 9 on both sides. That's going to cancel that out, and we're going to be left with negative 5y equals 40. Now, negative 5 is multiplying y, so the opposite is to divide it. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 5. That's going to cancel this out. And we're left with y equals negative 8. So that would be my answer. Again, if it gives you an ordered pair, if it gives you an ordered pair, remember, an ordered pair is always x comma y. So since it told me that x equaled 3, I substituted into the x the 3. Okay? Please, if you did not understand, go back and review this because each one of these you're going to be doing in class tomorrow. Problems like this, okay? So, have a good night. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you tomorrow.